So we crossed the border from Azerbaijan to Georgia and we're in Lagadeki, which is in like the very northeastern part of Georgia. And uh, we were going to pass through, but we decided to stay a bit longer because it looks really nice. So we stopped in Lagadeki in a nice little guest house and we've come up to the Lagadeki protected areas, which is the mountains north of Lagadeki on the border with the Russian Federation, Azerbaijan and Georgia. And it's a really unique area. It's one of the oldest um, apparently it's the oldest forest, forest in, europe. in europe yes yeah. the oldest so there, it's beach forests and um a few other trees oh, no, <laughs> i've got to get a photo of the top. forest but, oh, yeah no. so we're coming up to uh we're going to do a little hike uh up to there's a hike to the waterfall there's not that many little hikes but this one is the black grouse waterfall and it follows the shromish uh river up the valley uh, there's been a lot of rain lately so um they've said above the uh, the bridges are washed out and you can't get any higher than that it's a bit too rough so we're going to just do a little two hour hike uh, up to where the river is and uh, enjoy the local uh, sort of nature and the area around there it looks really nice we've got a bit of food for a bit of a picnic so it's going to be a, a great day out in the nature but we've checked out the entrance to the park and there's like a, a information area which is really really interesting and there's there's three day hikes right up into the Russian border and there's brown bears and wolves and even lynx which are like virtually impossible to see <laughs> but it's got some really interesting like flora and fauna so it sounds really really amazing and we might even come back to this area to do some trekking later but for today a gentle hike. So apparently we've got to follow the yellow signs yeah. even though it's I'm a bit confused because it's red and it's got a little red thing on it. Yep, yeah. but the black grass waterfall yellow signs all the way and the good thing is uh, the trail is marked on maps me for this so uh, with the um, with our gadgets we can just follow maps me and make sure we're on the right trail the great explorers two minutes in and we've followed the wrong trail these are marked with red and we've got to be following the yellow one so let's go back and try again <laughs> shall we <laughs> Definitely on the right trail now. They're the markers to be looking for. And we're uh, heading off up to the Black Grouse Waterfall. This beautiful tree just keeps going up and up and up and up. So the nice big wide path has suddenly gone all narrow, it's walked through some blackberries, brambles. Now we're heading up to the bridge, what was the bridge. Okay, maybe it's still here. Okay. <laughs> this bridge is a tree, I think. <laughs> And I'm really not so good at um, your old log crossings. Might be the end of the road for us. Yeah, might be the end of the road, Lee said. Stream. The beautiful forest. And a so-called bridge. I thought this was a stone wall at first, but then realised, of course not, the river's gone and pushed all these down. Shows how fierce it must be, and with the snow melt.
The bridge that was marked on our map is slightly further upstream, but there was absolutely no sign of it. So the only thing down here to get across is the, uh, the log there, which is it's possible. I'll get halfway, but I got a bit wobbly. And uh, if you did fall in, it's only, you know, a meter or two, but uh, I can't do the point in trying really, because uh, we're not gonna go any further anyway. They told us uh, there's been a lot of, um, the water's high and there's been a lot of trees down and stuff like that up the trail. So uh, it's not quite ready at this time of year. So we'll find a nice little picnic spot and hang out here for a while, I reckon. Great idea. So we ran out of water um, and I'm gonna fill up with the, using our uh, Soya water filter. Now this is something that we use for traveling and trekking, especially uh, to get water because we hate buying plastic water bottles. It's awful for the environment. They get thrown away and it costs money as well. So we're saving money and saving the environment, which is great. We carry this uh, Soya water filter with us. Um, it's pretty simple and I'm going to fill up the water, uh, my water bottle through the water filter and we can drink that stream water over there and uh, be nice and refreshed. Stop for a little snack. We've got some of these delicious Georgian pressed fruit things. We'll find out the name and put it up later. Um, mm. I think kiwi fruit, raspberry or strawberry, and we think this one's either apple or pear. They're very tasty and excellent trekking food. They're like fruit wraps. Yeah. We bought them a, a month ago in Tbilisi <laughs> for one month, I'm oh, sorry, one lari per. Yep fruit thing. Uh, um, they come in like a circle don't they? Yeah they do. You see them hanging up everywhere. That's a nice for a little snack. Yes. And we've got um, <laughs> what else we got? We've got uh, an apple and some biscuits and uh, some water and some some flower seeds. So Yay, we're all set. Basically a little picnic. After a lovely lunch, we've just walked back to the path and we've discovered the, the yellow blobs. So Lee's worked out the bridges. Over there, there's a yellow sign on the log that looks like it's come down. It looks a little bit dodgy. So Lee's going to go <laughs> for a walk and I'm gonna just going to... check it out, yeah. <laughs> you alright there for a minute? Yeah, you? I'm fine. Well, I gave up in the end. I just followed, um, went on to kind of a little island in the middle and followed the rocks up the, the riverbed, but the trail kept showing us on this side of the river uh, and I couldn't find a way to get to that log over there. There's quite a lot of logs across the river further up. It looks pretty rough. Ah. No sign of a real bridge at all. I think it's just a matter of crumbling over rocks and, and uh, logs. But So I wonder if that's yeah. what she meant when she quite said developed. the bridge had washed away. Yeah, maybe the whole thing's gone. Maybe it was made from logs, who knows? So, oh well, just a nice stroll back now through the beautiful beach forest. Yeah, really cool.
There's something just so magical and restorative about being in a forest. So walking back and we've discovered this beautiful, I don't know, yin yang tree. Half of it's covered with ivy and half of it with moss. Awesome, eh? So beautiful. Like a cuddle. <laughs> Go on, it's good to hug trees. Can you give it a hug? Yeah, which side are you going to hug? Ivy I'll side or? I hope something doesn't bite me. <laughs> there are snakes here, but we haven't Ooh, seen one. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear but there's a cuckoo in the distance. And there endeth our lesson on ornithology. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with us, you'll learn loads. <laughs> So back in civilization and someone didn't get the memo about no music, no shouting, no loud parties. They've got like a local, I don't know, a local gathering going on. We'll go, we'll go the quiet way. But there are picnic tables set up. We're about a 10 minute walk from the visitor center. It's been a really pleasant stroll back down the relatively gentle incline, decline. Yep, might be time for one of our favourite Donna places in Donna <laughs> now. That's all I can think about. <laughs> we've come out to the visitor centre and they had a conference while we're mm. at the on a walk and we've very kindly been given some sandwiches. A free lunch. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some uh, salami and cheese sandwiches, really nice. And here are some little biscuits or cakes. No, I think it's, I think it's a Georgian. Oh, I'll have to look up what the name is, but it's vegetables rolled into balls and apparently it's a local, local speciality. Mm. Mm. It's delicious, so no need for a shawarma after all. Fantastic. 